Calculate the total purchases for 30 December 2020. So in this lesson, I will show you how to calculate your purchases when you have incomplete information. So when they give you information, but they do not give you um, the required information and you have to calculate something by yourself. So this is what we will do, but for purchases. So let's start. Josephine owns a clothing boutique in town. Classy Fashion CC. Purchases of inventory are made through your cash and on credit. And Josephine has been out of town and has requested you to report the total purchases for the 30th of December 2020. So what we will do is... We will draw up your trade payables or your creditor's account. So this is like your T account, okay? So your balance at 30 November 2020 is 12500 So this is your opening balance. So we will start with your 1st December throughout your 30 December. So that will be your month. So this is for the month of December. So 30 November was the closing balance for November. Then the opening balance for December will be on your 1st of December, 12,500. So this is our opening balance. Opening balance. And then balance at 30 December 2020, this is your 13,280. This will be your closing balance. Additional information. So payments to creditors amount to 8,200. So this is money that we paid off to the bank. 8,200. And discount received. So our creditors, our suppliers, they gave us discount off from the payments that we have made and your cash purchases is four thousand nine hundred dollars so then they tell us calculate the total purchases for 30 december 2020 and the easiest way to do this is through having your t account drawing up your t account for your trade payables and your creditors so before we start we need to know that your creditors your creditors so this is a liability account and it will always increase so the transactions that make us increase our debt or have us make us have more credit will increase on your credit side and anything that makes us have less debt so we are paying off our debts that will be recorded on your debit side so this will be very very important to know very important okay so we go back and now it's time for entering the information. So balance at 30 November, this is our opening balance, is 12,500. So we start with your opening balance. Let's say your 1st December 2020, your opening balance, 12,500. Your closing balance, 30 December, 13,280. So your 30 December, 2020, we have your closing balance of 13,280 dollars. Then we move on to our additional information. So we made payments to our creditors. We assume that it's through the bank. It can be bank or cash. Of 8,200 so we will say your bank your bank on this side because we are having less creditors we are paying off our debt so there is less people that we owe therefore we record it on your debit side and this is 8,200 then we have your discount received of $820. So they gave us discount. So we do not have to pay the $820 anymore, meaning we owe $820 less. And we put that into your debit side. So this is a liability. We do this for all your liability accounts. This, this is your discount received. So the date for all of these can be your 30th of December. And then we have your cash purchases of 4900 So this will not be included in here because 
it has nothing to do with people that we owe. This was made on cash and we only deal with credits over here. So now that we are done, we need to draw up our, our blocks. And now the blocks we enter in, the amounts we enter in both of these blocks are the columns, the column with the highest amount. That's what we add in the blocks, which is on your debit side of 22,300. Now your 22,300, we need to deduct it. Okay, we need to deduct it. So we'll say 22,300 minus your 12,500 so we can find the difference. And that difference will be your purchases. So the difference is 9,800. So you say 8,200 plus 820 plus your 13,280 minus your 12,500. Then we get the 9,800 and this will be your purchases. Credit purchases. But they asked us, what are your total purchases? And your total purchases is your credit, credit purchases, plus your cash purchases. So your credit purchases is your 9,800 plus your cash, which is... 4,900. If you get that, that must be 14,700. Let's use the calculator. Yes, 14,700. And there you have your total purchases. So please subscribe for more videos and I'll put links below to previous videos. Thank you.